Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways to style your vertical sub menu navigation. So this is the final result that we are aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you exactly how I managed to create this. In order for us to style our vertical navigation, we are going to need some CSS code. So if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will include the CSS code to the posts in the show notes below. Okay, so here, this is what you would have if it's a basic website without any styling. So you can see here on my drop down, it's just uh, normal. So what you need to do is to log into your dashboard. And then we're going to come over here to appearance and then click on menus. Now I'm just going through this just in case you haven't created this. So what you want to do here is to make sure you create a new menu and you add all these links to your menu. So if you have all these pages already on your website, these will appear on your website. Ideally, what you want to do is choose one topic here and then have these sub pages under them. That's how you'll get your sub menu. Okay, so with that in place, I'm just going to go ahead and save. And then next, I'm going to go to Divi and then click on Theme Customizer. Right, so what you want to do here is to go to Header Navigation, click on Header Format, and then in order for us to have it vertical, you need to make sure that you enable a vertical navigation here. So now we can see that we have this vertical navigation, but because our text is white, we can't see it in the background, but we're going to resolve this soon. Okay, so now that we have this set, I'm going to click on Save and Publish. Next, we need to add some CSS code in order for us to have this vertical part transparent. So I'm going to go back few times, click on additional CSS, and I'm going to paste my CSS code in here. Okay, so now we can see that uh, we have transparency now on this vertical. And then let's just go back and uh, show you where you can style these, these headings. So I'm going to come over here to header navigation, click on primary menu bar. And here is where you can increase the size if you'd like to. So I'm just going to do this for now for this tutorial because the text is a bit too small. Okay, so now that we have this in place, we can see here that when we mouse over this, our sub menu is showing here. So now it's time to stylize this. So I'm just gonna click on save and publish. So let's start off by adding our CSS code. So I'm just gonna back up a few, a few times here and then come over here to additional CSS. So what you wanna do here is to add your CSS code, which I'm gonna paste like that. So next we need to look for our CSS IDs for our sub menus. So to do that, I'm just gonna to go to our website. I'm gonna open it in a new tab. And then I'm just gonna inspect this. So I'm gonna right click and click on inspect. Okay, so what we need to do is now that we have the inspector open, let's come over here to our, mo uh, our models because this is where we have our sub menu. So I'm just gonna click once on that and then come over here. Now we can see that our sub menu now is showing. So here is where we need to get the, uh, the numbers. So I'm gonna click on this first one here. So we can see here that this is menu item 46. So that's the first one. And then the second one is menu item 47, 48, and so on. So next we need to go back to our CSS code. So I'm gonna come over here to Divi Theme Customizer. Click on additional CSS. And then we need to replace our menu item. So we say the first one was menu item 47. So in fact, we can start off, uh, start off with the top one here. So menu item 47, like that, 47, and then 48. So these are sub menus which I've replaced with our actual item number. So now I'm gonna click on save and publish. When I refresh my page, in fact, we don't need the inspector anymore, so I'm just gonna close that. So now let's refresh our page. So if I refresh my page here and I mouse over our models, you can see now that we have a new style. So let's jump on to the next example and add our CSS code. In this example, we're going to add our CSS code onto this particular page. So in order for us to do that, we need to go into Enable Visual Builder, come all the way here to Expand Settings, click on this gear icon here to enter the settings of the page. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna snap this to the left side. Okay, so next click Advanced, click on Custom CSS and paste this CSS code in here. Okay, already you can see that this has changed and now this has applied this new style to our page. Okay, so now that we've entered our CSS code onto this page, next we need to substitute this menu item number. 
And remember, in the previous example, I showed you how to get this number. So if you recall, it's 46, 47, and 48. And take note that this is only going on the sub-menu item. Okay, so now that we have that in place, we can see now when we mouse over this, it's already, it's already has made some changes. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. And then I'm going to save the page and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so for our final example, we, need, we also need to do the same thing into our Visual Builder. And then we need to come over here to our page settings, click advanced, and we need to go into the custom CSS. Now for this style to work, we need to replace this CSS code. So I'm just going to copy it. I mean, in fact, I'm just going to delete that and paste our new CSS code. So what I'm going to do next is to substitute my menu item numbers. So I'm going to come over here and add my first one and it is 46. Okay, I'm going to search for the second one. In fact, this is the hover effect. So I'm going to set it as 46 as well. Okay, I'm going to scroll down, find the next menu item, which is right here. And this is 47. Come over here to the hover, add 47. And then the last one is 48. So if we mouse over here, we can see now that we have this style added to our sub menu. Okay, so once you're done with that, just go ahead and save, save the page, and then exit the Visual Builder. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you will be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.